All right, welcome back. I'm Jay Barino. Continuing Brood War Alternate, we're heading into the Brood War campaigns. This is where things are going to start getting crazy wild. That last mission, the Vortex. Oh, dear. We're going into the Union now. The evacuation. The world ship is destroyed, but nothing is finished just yet. Terran campaign. The Zelnaga world ship was destroyed in Tarsonis. Capital world of the Terran Confederacy is now covered with ash and wreckage. You are one of the last alive Confederate military captains, and it is up to you to protect the surviving soldiers and civilians from the Protoss who, without proper, without a proper chain of command, are now stalking across once great cities and settlements, killing everyone in their way. Secret Confederate military base, Planet Tarsonis. Hello there, Captain. We are all upset over Meg's death, but we don't have time to waste on feelings. We've destroyed the world ship, but there are still Protoss running amok and killing our men. Nagalfar is in no condition to fly. With neither its support nor the old families and, more importantly, their fleets, we are royally screwed. I'm afraid General Duke has a point, Captain. The Protoss will not stop until they've killed every last one of us. I may have a solution, though. To fast travel across the sector, my men have deployed warp gates on key planets, including Tarsonis. We should withdraw all of our remaining forces to it and use it to travel to where the Protoss cannot follow us. Now listen here, son. The Confederacy does not break so easily. Tarsonis is our home, and we will fight for as long as it takes. Just like your old families did? They're dead, Edmund. And if we don't want to follow, we should learn from their mistakes. Now, Captain, I know of a place where the Protoss will never find us. Braxis, a central base of the UED operations in this sector. UED? They see us as nothing but criminals. Why would they shelter us? Not all people are so unforgiving as your old families. Haven't I demonstrated that yet? I guess you're right, Vice Admiral. Captain, Stukov will find the warp gate. After it is secure, Rainer and our new Lieutenant Davis. <laughs> Lieutenant Davis? We'll get our boys the hell off this rock. Is it really General Davis from Nova Covert Ops? Carolina Davis, indeed. Reporting for duty, I was only recently appointed as lieutenant, but I want to assure you I will do whatever I can do to protect mankind. We'll know soon enough, girl. I wish to accompany you, Terrans. It's better than staying here alone, right? Hunter Killer Draliska. As always, your help is appreciated. Draliska. Okay, bring Stukov to the warp gate. See, the the context around this whole situation is so wildly different that it's... I mean, I don't know. Like, the believability... It's just suspend your disbelief, right? The whole, there's no overmind, therefore the Zerg are feral and running amok is a lot different from there's no chain of command, therefore they're killing everything. I don't know, one is a little more believable, but it, it really doesn't matter, so let's get started. A lot of it fire bats. It is a good day to die. Okay. Back up. Take him out. Uh, okay, so let's take, let's play this one real cool. We're real cool cats, we're gonna play this real cool. Uh, meaning, please don't lose everything very early. It's gonna be a very dicey mission, I think. Lead with the fire bats. They're gonna die real fast. And it's probably gonna be Alexi and these, uh... Alexi and then these, uh, Goliaths. Okay, let's get down here. The Protoss are using this gateway to bring reinforcements to the region. We should destroy them while we can. Yeah, don't chase those! What are you... You fools! Uh, 
Now there's more. As long as we're focus firing these down as they come in. Okay, this should be good. We should be able to kill them as they spawn. That's interesting. So instead of Nidus canals, it's just like straight up big buildings, which require a lot more firepower to bring down. Whoa, 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 get down there. We gotta shoot this stuff. We haven't even we haven't lost any fire bats. That's actually pretty awesome. I'm sorry, Ryan Adun, you have to be left behind. We could also scout with Alexi. I see. The thing about Alexi is he's very fragile. He, uh, I think comparatively, it's I think he does concussive damage, so it's not like he's doing mondo damage too much. It's just the fact that he can lock down is really useful. So if we happen to find any reavers or things like that, we'll be we'll be able to lock them down, but it's really just if we stumble upon one. Now, I don't know if there would be any Reavers on this mission or not. Losing fire bats because of these, uh... Because of these, uh, cannons. Okay, let's depower the gateway so that they can't warp in more reinforcements. I assume they can't warp in as long as it's depowered. Yes, indeed. Okay, we lost some fire bats. That was bound to happen. This might be a good spot to cloak and see. Yes, uh, let's just let's just do some saves. It's a micro mission. I don't think that these are vastly changed besides the race swapping. I know UED doesn't really prefer micro missions, so I'm assuming that most of these are, are pretty much similar to the originals. Okay, there go all of our uh, fire bats. Unfortunately, they did their best for us. Okay. Let's just skip whatever that... I mean, there's a another gateway up there, but let's just avoid that. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, okay. Let's yeah, let's just avoid those. We don't have to kill those. Let's uh, let's head down here. This There should be this big battle down here, I believe. So let's go. It's going to say we got to move. It doesn't even say we got to move. That would have been fitting. All right, get down there. Avoid the scouts. Okay, let's help out. We're going to lock down some of these. Well, there were a lot of uh, fire bats, but they're all dead now. we got to push through here and destroy these uh, these gateways. I was hoping we could save some fire bats. That would have been nice, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. Got a lot of firepower here. Where's Alexi? Why is this guy teal? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Probably just a little, like, semi-bug. Not a big deal. Probably maybe this guy was rescued by Alexi. Wow, oh, he's dead now, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, lots of cannons. My god, these guys are just like mowing through. Okay, we can kill them before they can get to us. That's the important thing here. Just stay clumped up. Okay, here they come. And we want to just kill these before they get too much damage on us. We have more marines now, which is good. Three, and then one. No more fire bats. The fire bats with the overlapping fire is really good against uh, zealots, but alas. No more of that. Good. Man, this guy is just, like, standing right up on the out there in the front, waiting to get murdered by these zealots as they come in. Okay, we came out on top there. There, see, now he said we got to move. That would have been fitting for when the first four guys came out. Okay, there should be some... There's normally some Dragoons up here, so let's go see if there's something equivalent. Goliaths, good. There's a lot of just random Corsairs flying over us. Wow, we're not even able to kill those. Those are really tanky. Okay, we got Derpy Goliaths. Why don't we just move these guys back, because... Well, you know, I think we're gonna get... We should get medics here pretty soon, right? Nice, nice. Got more guys. Not the fire bats, no! Okay, let's take this stuff out. There should be another set of units further up. Okay, so that's Stukov. Those are Goliaths. Add this to our Goliath group. Um, I wonder what's going to be up here now. 
just because typically there's like an ultralist that's attacking zealots, and zealots can surround ultralists, so it's really not... I mean, it works pretty well, I should say, in the favor of the, the zealots. But this is going to be different. Wow, look at that brave firebat. He he kept those uh, that Archon off of our the rest of our infantry. What a man. Okay, focus fire the Archon. There we go. Now focus fire that. Okay. Okay, we took a lot of heat there. We gotta go rescue some more guys. The last section of this map, I think, is the trickiest one. Which is basically, you get one large influx of units, and then from there to the exit is where things can get really tough. Let's see if we can lure these in. Now oh, we got hit once. Okay, let's kill, kill, kill. Cool. Now, I think... Well, let's just sit here and wait. Yeah, we killed one of them. Fuck out of here, Corsairs. Why are those so tanky? It's unbelievable. Okay, don't, 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 don't. I'm deciding the best way to go to get up here and defend this group of units that's inevitably going to be besieged by a higher tier unit, because that's typically what is here. There we go. Oh, okay. That's fine. That worked. That went okay. We got to get up here, though. Man, these uh, these archons are rough. We're losing a lot more than we're gaining, I think. Protoss, it's just it's just because it's like Protoss and Zerg, uh, they don't really transfer, like one side to the other. It's uh, it's just not quite the same. Like to replace one for one, sunken colonies I think are definitely better than photon cannons. But like a zealot in the place of a hydralis doesn't really line up in many different situations. It's not that the zealot is necessarily stronger across the board, but um, it kind of. It just depends on the context. That's for sure. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here, so let's... Uh, here's our... I think here's our last group of units. We're going to get a Mondo bunch of them. Hello? Excellent. Admiral? That's the last of the forces remaining in this territory. We have located the UED position, but there are many Protoss forces in the way. Okay, let's repair our Goliaths. Did give us a little bit of money, so... Okay, we gotta get down here. What is that? UED Spartan Company, and it's got a glowy shield thing. How do we get ourselves some of those? Okay. Repair, repair. We got some tanks. They are not siegeable. What do we have on these ghosts? Ah, that's good. Okay. So ghosts, you're gonna be my new, my new hotkey, because we gotta be locking down any sort of mechanical what what have you throughout this. All right, Marines, you're going to get replaced in this hotkey group, so that's the Goliath group. Then infantry, you're basically just going to get sacked as you run in there. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's just not really a better way to do it. What I could do is scout with ghosts. I'm here. Never know what hit him. Right, so we can just... Move in, lock down each individual Dragoon, so that we can easily get to the uh, the gateway. So all of you attack. Get in there. And our infantry is just going to get obliterated. But, but I think that's just the price we're going to pay. These poor, poor... Uh, Firebats getting into the front. Honestly, I would rather have Dragoons come out of these. I really would. Okay, now pushing down here, I think, is the semi-spooky part. We have a lot of Goliaths that may be enough to, to get us through this. I could take it slow there. Slow, though, just in case, and we can cloak with Stukov and go and look. I see. I'm looking forward to getting uh, medics here pretty soon. All right, never mind that. We can't really do anything there. We just gotta, we just gotta attack move through these. Okay, so get going, get going. SCVs don't waste your lives though. 
Get in there. Get in there. Stukov back up. It's probably for the best that he tanks a little bit of damage because he can he can handle more than our typical units, that's for sure. Alright, keep pushing down through here. Okay, what got left behind? Not much. Go ahead, the Goliaths and the Ghosts, I think, are going to carry us through this. Again, the infantry was there to pretty much just die. That was cheeky, because we can't. Uh, your units don't automatically target the Zealots as they come out of these things. They may be limitless here. I, I think they actually are, so we gotta we got to just push through this as best we can. I know it's triggered for them to come out of the caves. I don't, again, it may be limitless. I'm not 100% sure. In any case, we're through. It seems like they're done. Streaming out from the caves. All right, there's the base. Just send us some shuttles. We're right here. All right, we just got to go down and around. Go ahead and just repair some stuff. All right, let's go look. God, we're, we're right here. Help us. Okay, uh, we got to attack through here. We're out of money, so we're going to auto attack with the SCVs. No Reavers makes me a happy boy. Just really tired of the mass carrier, mass Reaver situation. I didn't utilize EMP well enough. Or nukes. Nukes would have been really good last mission, too. I just did not utilize all the tools that I had at my disposal. That would have just helped so much. But, uh, admittedly, I didn't do it, and then I just complained about it. But, again, it's just sort of like my skill as a player. I can only handle so much at once. <laughs> just sort of considering all the tools at my disposal. Okay, move on up. We're right there. Now we just have to get Stukov to the to the gate. We don't have to get everyone through, but once we get through here, they're gonna start they're gonna start trying to flood to us. So we gotta try to just spam units up this ramp, especially Stukov. All right, we're here, Captain. We've reached the warp gate. We should begin evacuation immediately. All right, here come the zealots. Get in there, ghosts. Get everyone through. There's Draliska and Jim. Don't worry about the enemies. Captain Rainer and I shall hold the flank until all of your kind is in and away safely. Stukov, please. Okay, good. You're the only one that needed to make it. Get in there. Oh, we have control of them. Kill them. I'm curious about this, these Spartan Company units because they only have 25 HP. They must have some sort of shield ability because... Uh, I don't know. But again, this campaign is... Um, I can now say that this campaign is fully made by UED because uh, Stratos Tygo made the vanilla campaigns. UED has entirely made the, uh, the Brood War campaigns himself, so I can say the author UED. The author of this campaign is UED, so a lot of the UED stuff, I feel like there's going to be a bit of a UED bias in the sense that they're going to get some really cool and unique stuff. As we saw in uh, Tooth for a Tooth, where just random uh, super good race spawned out of a warp gate, just spawned out of nowhere uh, and, and annihilated worker lines. <laughs> Looking forward to that. All right, cool. So that's our mag our micro map done. There's another one in mission four though, which is typically called the Battle of Braxis. This one will be different because uh, it won't be Braxis anymore. Shakuras is Braxis, which, which probably means that Braxis will be Shakuras. It'll be flipped if I had to guess. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.